This video is sponsored by pdcgostore.com. Go check out their website, grab yourself some Vivid Voltage codes, and of course, don't forget to use FTW for 5% off at checkout. Now enjoy the video. <clears throat> oh, hi. <laughs> I, I didn't see you there. What is it I'm doing? Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spreading some cheese on toast. Che oh, bro, bro, listen. Oh, I just... Oh, I just dropped my knife on me. No! I just got cheese all over my bloody top. Just got, they call it copy cheese man from that one. Mr. Cheese man. Listen, have you had this? Yeah? This this video ain't sponsored by this, yeah? But look, Dare Elite, listen, if you're from the UK, you know, bro. You know. And if you don't, you're slacking. Right. Um, there's only toasted on one side. <laughs> and it's burnt here as well. Today, we're playing a spread deck, baby. If you didn't get the joke, then now you do. <laughs> Oh, that was hard to swallow. That was really dry. I need some water. <sighs> so today we're playing Weezing and Barrascuda. Barrascuda came out in Vivid Voltage with the targeted skewer attack, which has pretty much the same attack as Esper. But if you don't know, it does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each damage counter on them. Obviously, you can see the synergy from the get-go. And of course, this is amplified with the telescopic sight, which also came out in Vivid Voltage. So this deck is actually pretty... Really good. I actually have done bits with this deck. I've beaten some top tier stuff with this deck. I've beaten a Pikaram. I've managed to actually beat ADP before and actually a well played one. Not, I didn't just get lucky. Hey, okay, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a, bit of a great player myself. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. All fun and games aside, this is actually a really fun deck to play. So we're going to be playing it today, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Let's go. Okay, baby. What are we playing today, boy? Come on, hit me, hit me. I actually was on, I think, a five run streak with this deck on the ladder, just before. Um, recording this video, which is pretty cool. Food in my mouth. I hate that feeling. All right, do I start with the coughing? Yes. Um, you actually prefer to go second in this deck. I know it's an evolution deck, and I know some people prefer. To be fair, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people play this game anymore. I have no idea. But that said, um, going first is actually better for us. What? Well, at least in my experience in this deck. Do I drop this in case they Marnie us? No. Um, going second usually is my preferred one anyway, because you can go for like a foul odor with the coughing, which can slow your opponent down sometimes, especially when you're up against an ADP. Um, you can foul an odor and put their ADP into confusion. Obviously, they can switch out of it and stuff. They have the option, but it just adds the extra barrier if they want to attack into you. And obviously, we can evolve into the wheezing. It has been times where I've played against a deck and the opponent has actually been um, in the active spot confused for like a couple turns and I've been able to take advantage. But anyway, the strategy in this deck, uh, that aside, is to oh okay i'm gonna go for a uh, research here yeah i want to i want to draw big um yeah it's to spread as much damage as possible wheezing in the early game and scoop uh sorry sweep up sorry with um oh god terrible terrible yeah sweep up with barrascuda um being able to hit some crazy numbers man absolutely wild stuff okay i'm actually going to bench this to dene uh we have time i mean they've got nothing in play but i want to get i want to get the ball rolling as quickly as possible we can get some damage counters on this That'd be great. We don't. Oh, okay. That's a yikes. That's a real yikes. Um, wow. Okay, we've digged. And we have four Weezing and four Twin in this deck. And we didn't get one of them. Oh, feels bad. Okay, sure. Uh, I can attach this and go for like a water energy next turn in case we hit that and not a Twin. But I'd rather put that on the Barrascuda. I don't know. Yeah, let's play it safe. Let's do that. Let's just go for Foul Loader anyway. Just, just, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't know what we're playing against, to be honest with you. I see a Dedenne and a Water Energy. My first guess is probably Inteleon. So I don't know what we're up against as of yet. Let's see, let's see if they put, put something down, bro. Do, do sad. Oh, it's an ADP. <laughs> no, we're not playing ADP. Bro, if an ADP has a start like that, that is yikes. Bro, that's so unfair on their part. <laughs> there is no way this is an ADP deck. I'm sorry. A Day Day with no other benches. Sorry, benched Pokemon. You must be having a laugh, right? Well, we've got Bird Keeper, so there we go. But wow, this hand is awful. I really don't like it. I really don't. Um, I could have actually benched a Barrascuda and just prepared an attack, to be honest with you. But hey, we, we move. We move. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what is this? We... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to react to this. Okay, sorry. There is a Dedene <coughs> on, our... <coughs> on our opponent's side of the field with a water and a lightning. 
while sitting in confusion, whilst our opponent has nothing else in. What is what is happening? What is going on? Tell me, have you ever seen the Dene with a water and two metal energy attack? I'm sorry, attached. I, I, I'm sorry. That's what happened. I really regret actually attaching it. Why am I going for this? Why am I going for the crushing hammer? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is just an. What, what is this? this? This game is cursed, bro. This game is cursed. This, this, this. Ah, cursed. Sorry, Chief. It ain't it. Yeah, I regret not attaching to the Barrasuda you because know, we could be running in for a KO next turn. Too focused. I was too focused on the strat that I, did, I didn't see the uh, the route to actually win. I mean, I, well, okay. Do you know what? I didn't see them having this being in this uh, this much of a <laughs> English being in this much of a predicament. What was their hand saying? Oh no, that is just disgusting. Right now we're in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Now we're in a little bit of trouble because we've used a lot of resources here already to try and set up and we flopped it. We haven't put any damage on the Dedene, which means we can't have a nice and easy KO in the late game with the Barrascuda. And they're probably going to Intrepid Sword <clears throat> uh, and have a Zacium ready next turn. And it's a shame because, man, bro. Ah, oh, come on, they've got it. They've got it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> wow. I did not like that dead draw. No way. Hey, we've got it. We've got it. Right. I'm actually going to switch. Do I switch? I want to evolve into this one and switch. So we have that water route for the other one at some later point in the game. I don't know. So yeah, you know, go like this. If the reason's KO'd, we have draw plus or Aquarius sitting on bench. And they haven't got an ADP... Um, an alter creations off yet so i'm actually pretty happy so far even if they ko with the with the zassian um they uh, can they boss his orders they did ditch two of them so you know there's that all right we're, we're under some pressure but it's really not the end of the world to be honest we've probably come up with another wheezing hopefully i don't know if i want to promote the barrel scooter or not um just to get one more round of, of spreads the Day Day will be KOable. Um, this, I. How much do we need in order to KO it? I think we need like 70, right? Right now, we need 70 damage counters. Is it? No, eight. We need eight. Yeah, eight damage counters on this, I think, to guarantee the KO with the Barrascuda. Because 70 would be plus 140 on top of that with the Barrascuda, which would be 210, which is his 220. Um, obviously, it's 2 uh, 10 HP now, but we still need to get it to eight damage counters on the Pokemon. Wow, you've actually... Wow, okay. I did not see that coming. Bro, that's cool. That's cool. You've burnt your boss's orders like it's nobody's business. I doubt you have anything else. Annoying, because we can't use the Oracorio, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We can go behind. That's cool with me, bro. Now, you're actually KOable, but I want to get some damage on these Asians, you know? Speaking of, do we just put some... No? Okay, sure thing, Chief. I kind of want to go for Amani. I want to limit their hand as much as we can. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're talking. We're talking here. Um, <clears throat> do I bench this coffin? I think we do. I think the odds of us getting a wheezing is quite decent. Or not. Okay. I'm going to save that great ball. I'm going to just bank on it. Yeah, I know. I'm attaching a twin. But I'm banking on it. Okay. Listen, when there's Marnie in the game, you don't know what's going to happen. All right. You have no idea. That needs one more damage counter and it's definitely... KOable, which is nice. <laughs> that might not even need to parachute that. <laughs> Weezing's good on its own, bro. Weezing is pretty solid. It really is. Especially with the with the telescopic sight. It's like, damn, what a buff. Are you finally getting ADP out? There it is. Look at that. They can't... Uh, what, how many energy switch? They got one energy switch left. So they can uh, water an energy switch. Um, <clears throat> but with only three other cards in their hand. Unless they've got a... Yeah, they might have a research or something. I don't know. Oh wow! It just, uh, whoa, they could actually be, they could actually be hitting this. Okay, bro, really? You got three of them in this compound. You hit the last one. Oh my god. Okay. Now here's the question: Do I risk it for a biscuit? No, I don't. <clears throat> no. We are walking into chaos, to, to game territory here right now. Like we are. We just need to retreat. <laughs> Retreat the wheezing. What a top deck as well, by the way. 
Uh, Theon's pretty sick in this, by the way, because we can gust out active damage Pokemon and KO them, which is nice. But this is not really needed right now. I want to keep. I want to keep the Fion. Uh, no, maybe I should have shuffled that to the bottom of the deck. I don't know. Hit me with a switch, bro. Okay. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a weird play, but it's a play we can do. So it, yeah. I could go for another wheezing swing. I really could. Okay, but. This Dene is close to a one-hit KO um, from a Skewda. This is a one-hit KO. So it's this. So if we just retreat, right? Feels bad. Feels bad, but we're doing it, right? And if they KO us, we come up with a Weezing, put the extra damage counter on this Dene. That's one-hit KO ball. Then we have our three prizes ready to go. Set up, sorted, ready. So we just need three turns here. And if things go to plan... We get the win. Ordinary Rod, great, so we can recover those uh, lost water energies, which is nice. Uh, what's our switch situation saying? So we've only got one switch left, and we've used both our bird keepers, which is bad. So promoting this weezing is kind of a, a bad feel, you know. Not a fan of it. Actually, what we could do, um, at least for now this turn, is if we get the water energy back, we can just get our Fionn. And you'll see the power of Fionn here in his deck. You can KO me, that's fine, but we are almost ready to go. Basically, as soon as you set up um, enough damage counters on some GX or V Pokemon, um, then yeah, Barrascuda will just take take you know take the game. Oh, they've got the auto creation. Okay, this is really bad for us. Okay, four bosses. I did not know this deck played four. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, God, you guys are going to hate me here, but I'm going to attach a twin and retreat. <laughs> I ain't risking nothing, bro. That's a KO. That's a KO right there. Nice. They can KO me. And I have to respond with another KO in order to win. I just need that extra one damage counter. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. So, oh, God, this, this, is, this is hard. I don't think we play anything from our hand right now. I want to save the rod <clears throat> and utilize it better for the, the water energies. I guess we just, yeah. No, we can't. We can't research right now, man. This Fionn's going to be quite powerful for us. All right, let's just take out. Let's take out the, uh, the Zacian. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Now we just need... The switch, basically. If they KO me, that's fine. We, we promote the wheezing. And then all we need is a switch and a water energy. Shut up, phone. I'm putting on silent. Switch and a water energy. And then we've got a game. And we'll beat an ADP. Which, although, to be fair, did have a very rough setup. Like, they, they, they did not have a good... But so did we. We didn't have a good setup either. I'm just throwing that out there. We did not have a good setup. Actually. Oh, no. I can't promote this. Actually, I'm going to promote... The wheezing, yeah, because the wheezing puts the damage counters down between the turns once it's promoted. So we can guarantee the KO next turn so long as we just get... We need two cards, people. Two cards, all right? And we've won. Two cards. And, and this is this is it, all right? Because the next next turn we lose. There is no way we're winning uh, the, the turn after. It, it, it just ain't going to happen. So damage counters down. This, the Dene, will be a one-hit KO now. The telescopic sights. Oh, we could have gone for a telescopic sight, actually. But the odds of hitting that. Uh, might as well just get everything into play while we can, right? <laughs> and the dumb thing to do would actually be to Fionn. Just throwing that out there. That'd be the dumb thing to do. Because they'll just promote the Dene and then, yeah, the, the, the whole idea is gone. So, I guess in case we're in a bad situation. No, there's nothing that could actually make this bad. We, we lose next turn no matter what. Alright, I'm going to bench the Fionn. I'm gonna just going to... I want to increase the odds of getting what I need. So I need a switch... And let's see if it's in deck. If we don't have to switch in deck, it's game over. We do. Okay. And we have the telescopic sight, which, which actually that doesn't really matter. One water energy. So here's the plan. We go for shuffle just energy. I'm not going to put Pokemon back into the deck. Just energy. We're going to bring two energy back. Okay. We have a one in two chance of getting the switch and a one in two chance of getting the water. So is that a one in four chance of getting both? Am I am I doing maths right? I don't know. That's also my forte. Switch and water energy. That's all we need. 
Come on! And we got the telescope, but we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> look at this, we're gonna rub it in here. <laughs> well played, my friends. ADP, see you later, man. Who, what even is ADP, bro? Come on, what is this? <laughs> GG, nice. Right, so I'm gonna leave the video there. Um, one thing I'm going to be doing, I just want to shout out quickly that I am going to be doing a lot more live streams on this very channel. So keep an eye out for that because if you want to see me play these decks a bit more, then you can. I think the deck was represented there during that video um, in the best way possible. You saw what it does, you saw what it's about, and you saw what it can do. So I don't think it's really necessary, uh, necessary me getting to another game to showcase it because you've seen what it does and everything. But if you want to see me play it more, then keep an eye out for a stream coming up soon. I'm not sure exactly when I will be streaming. Um, but I will be streaming some point in the near future and I will be doing it more regularly as well. So that's usually how it's going to go now. Um, but with that said, here is the list. I actually really, really do like this. I think this is a really, really cool deck. Cards you can really mess around with. Crushing Hammer, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, Crushing Hammer is just really good in the format right now anyway, slowing down a lot of progress. So uh, with a deck like this that requires some level of setup, that's why... It, this, this is pretty good to have. That's why I've put it in there. But you can throw it, you know, throw it out for something else. Birdkeeper again. But I've put that in there just to have the switch opportunity because you can't really work around this wheezing too well. You can throw an air balloon and then you'd have to retreat still by getting rid of the twin if you've got a twin attached, which isn't that great. So I thought Birdkeeper and a few switches would be efficient to be able to run this deck the way I want to. And it has proven to be that so far. I've usually had no issues with the retreating and switching around, um, which is pretty neat as well. Telescopic Sight, really, you didn't see it coming to play there, um, but it really can do some good stuff. Adding that extra 30 damage um, to those Vs and GXs on the bench is great, especially in the early game of Weezing. It really accelerates the process of getting more damage counters in play for Barascuda to really take advantage of. I think it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I actually really do like this deck. It's really awesome and it's really efficient as well. Um, but yeah, with that said, do try it out for yourselves. Let me know in the comments down below how it goes. And uh, of course, most importantly, do take care of yourself. And also leave a like, subscribe, you know that stuff. All that good stuff. With that said, of course, I'll leave you to it. Take care. Peace.